Uh, Amy was in a wreck, everybody. Like a oh, real one. Oh, no. No. I, like, my first real wreck ever in my entire life is very scary because I've hit things before, but oh. they're non-moving objects. Or, and I'm normally going maybe two, three miles an hour when it happens. But this was not my fault. I just want to preface the story with that. It was 100% the we'll other person's fault. We'll be the judge of that. Fault. No, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. I have a police report to prove that, like, I was not in the wrong. I'm just kidding. And so it was really scary, though. I was in uh, the far right lanes, almost like a turn lane, and a guy was in the middle lane, and he decided to turn from it. And we're oh, going. Oh, trying to cross over you. Yeah, we're going. I, 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 probably 45. I was driving it again this morning and thinking this is probably how fast I was going. 45 miles an hour. And the guy turned right in front of me to turn into this driveway. I guess he, he realized he missed it and wanted to just go ahead and turn, but didn't realize maybe I was in a blind spot. So then I had to completely swerve and went up on the sidewalk in the grass and completely like came to a halt. I'm thankful that I didn't over swerve. Cause I mean, I don't have practice swerving and I had to react quickly. So part of me is very proud of myself, but I also just think I got lucky that uh, it, you know, I didn't swerve didn't too much because I dude. could have spun around or flipped or, you know, not been able to stop in time. And there was trees and a huge utility pole, mm. like really close to me. It was crazy how it happened. And then, you know, you just kind of sit there for a second and I'm in shock again. I've never been in a situation like this at all. And I'm shaking. And Are then you I stopped at this point. Yeah. And I, he hit me. So not oh, he only did, he did hit. You yes. Too. So that, so when I swerved to get away from him he hit the back of me because it was he was already turning but instead of hitting maybe the middle of me he hit the back and it didn't spin you around it didn't spin me around luckily like i remember kind of like going to the left and the right and then just like stopping half on the grass half on the sidewalk on a pretty busy road and then he gets out i don't know where he, where where he is but what he kind of went truck like, was it? he was in a van okay and he gets out and immediately comes over and is taking responsibility. This is my fault. Are you okay? This is my fault. I'm so sorry. And then he offers me cash and wants me to take the cash. And how much cash? Well, it went, uh, I'm going to tell you it's, you mean to give you numbers? Because I don't yeah. know how yeah. much it's going to cost to fix my car. Let's go. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll be the judge if you're taking it or not. All right. <laughs> so he, at first he starts off with, I'll give you $300. Oh, no. Get and, out of here. Yeah. I know. But then I'm like, look, we can just call, figure this out. We'll let's exchange information and insurance. And he's like, $400. And I'm like, just give me your number. Go get your insurance. Like, we'll figure this out. $500. He went up to $2,000. He came back and like had hundreds and was trying to pay me in bills. But I felt for him because clearly something was going on to where he didn't want police involved at all. And then I'm just emotionally in a very fragile place and I just start bawling crying because I feel now like I'm stuck. I'm, I need to probably file it with the insurance, but then I also feel bad for whatever's going on with him and I just feel it and I just start bawling crying in front of him. I think he probably thinks like, I don't know what, what he thought. Maybe he thought I was sad about my car. Well, he probably but I, thought he was, he's in trouble. He wasn't thinking mm -hmm. about you. If he's throwing cash at you, something's up. Oh, yeah, up. no, he did not want the police involved. Right. But I also did not want to, it was so unfortunate, and yes, it was his fault, but then I didn't want to be the reason he gets in trouble with the law. And so I'm like, man, I just I just wanted to escape from it and act like it never happened. And I was like, can I hit and run my own accident that I didn't cause? <laughs> like, I just want to leave the scene because this is awful. And then we were right near a church, and the church was about to let out, and it's a big enough church where they have a police officer that directs traffic. And wouldn't you know, the police officer's coming out to direct traffic, and he sees me up on the lawn, and he comes over and asks everything's okay, and I see the guy's, like, face just drop. Because I, we didn't call the police. It just, like, I don't know. The Lord took care of it for me. Uh, that's how I, that's what I want to think, is, like, I was so overwhelmed with making a decision on what to do and what was the right thing to do, which the right thing to do is to file a report, but I just felt so bad for this guy. And then the officer that was you know, directing the traffic, called in a backup officer and an officer arrived and wrote up an accident report. And I mean, yeah, the guy definitely got, I heard the officer say, so you don't have insurance? And he's like, no, I, I, I don't, I don't have insurance. I mean, it just was awful. And so now that I feel so bad, but it was his fault. And now I have the accident report for my insurance. And then I guess my insurance will, 
I mean, who knows? I guess I'm going to be covering it, you know, not his. Yes. And then I have a new story that I tell myself because I was so anxious about getting this guy in trouble, even though it wasn't my fault. But my new story is he probably has something coming up bigger down the line that he's really going to wish he had insurance for. And this little accident caused him to do the right thing and be legal with his insurance. And then he's going to be so glad he had it. So uh, in a year or so, he's going to be thankful he had the wreck. It's a cute story. Yeah. yeah. The, um, <laughs> That's what I, I have to I tell think... myself, though. It was awful. Wait, so did he go to they arrest him or anything? Not that I saw. At one point, I was free to go. So I was like, bye. But he was still there. And another cop arrived. Ugh, Is I your car messed up? Yes. Yeah. Yep. yep. S- Got to definitely if, get it fixed. If we walk out there. Oh, we... for sure. Yeah. You really? See the dent. Yeah. So even $2,000 probably wouldn't have covered it. I- Honestly, I don't think so. Had you known he didn't have insurance, if you had asked him that earlier, the move would have been take the cash and then just file it as some an uninsured driver hit you. That's what happened. You'd have got cash and your insurance would have paid for it, which they're doing anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Everything I, again, I, I, everything about that just felt so weird. I know. I, I didn't want to be a part of it. And obviously, I knew something was shady because he was not wanting to do the proper protocol in exchange. Yeah, when someone starts throwing cash at you to shh, shh. My good. You know that ain't good. Yes. Ah, it's the worst. I was shaking, but I'm thankfully okay. everybody's okay because yes. it could have been worse. So I'm thankful, and then hopefully he is going to get right with the law, and he'll be better for it. The law and the Lord. That's yeah. right. Yeah, for sure. The law and the Lord. Of course, we wrecked right up on a church. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. Me too. It's scary. I could see you starting to slightly be triggered by telling that story mm-hmm. again as you were. Yeah, because I've never had that feeling before mm-hmm. of being out of control. Again, I hit like. Fire hydrants, you know, mm-hmm. non-moving objects. Lucky you didn't hit a pole. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I have a picture of it, and you can see how close the pole is from to where I stopped. Thankful that you're here. Thankful you made it. Me too, when, thanks. What day was this? Yesterday. Oh, jeez. It's about-